right, second grade, I told you that we were going to play a mystery game where we're searching for a pirate's treasure. And to do that, we're going to have to decipher some clues using some of the rhythms that you guys learned so far. So you ready to jump in? All right, let's go looking for that treasure. Okay, the case of the rhythm pirate's treasure. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay. All right. So first thing we need to do is go over some of the things that you're going to see inside your clues whenever we are deciphering these rhythms. Okay. All right. So look at our rhythm chart we have here. I actually want to start by looking over down at the bottom of the chart right here. Okay. So we're looking at this note right here. Now this note is actually worth four beats. We call him a whole note because he takes up the whole four beats. Do you remember when we were doing the pizza pie rhythms and we got the buckets out and we were looking at some of those rhythms that would scroll up the screen? Each one of those rhythms may, were made up of four beats. Well, this guy takes four beats to make one sound. Yeah, you heard me right. Four beats to make one sound. So we say him like this, ho. I've got four beats that I clapped, but I only made one long sound. So do that with me, ready? Go, ho. We call him a whole note, okay? All right, now if we come up here, now we're gonna start making our rhythms smaller and smaller. So if that whole note we just looked at was worth four, this guy is worth three, okay? Now what makes him worth three, look at right above me. Do you see that little bitty dot behind him? I know, he looks like a two-woo, but he's got a dot. That dot turns that two-woo into three. And it's one sound that lasts for three beats, okay? So let's see if you can try that. One, two, ready, go. Three. Now don't do this, three, e, e. That's actually making three different sounds. We're looking for one sound that's going to last for three beats. So try it again, ready, go. Three, excellent. Now we're gonna make our rhythm pattern even smaller and we're gonna look at this one. What is this guy? You should know. Yes, he is the two because he is worth two beats, okay? He's the two woo and we call him a half note because he's only worth half of this guy right here. He's worth half of this whole. So that's why we call him a half note, okay? All right, so now let's jump up to this guy. We know what this guy is. What's this guy? That's right, he's just simply ta. And he's one sound, one beat, that simple, okay? All right, so let's do, you know what? Let's do four ta's in a row. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. You guys are awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna swing over here and we're gonna take that ta and we're gonna cut him in half. So it's like we took a pizza and we just cut that pizza in half. And when we do that, we get two halves. So each one of these T's, and I'm gonna come up here for just a minute. When we have a T that's by himself, he looks like this. He's just a little flag and he's only worth half of a beat. But when we put them together, their flags connect. And now together, the TT is worth one beat, okay? So I'll go through that again. A T by himself is worth a half a beat. Two TTs together is worth one beat because it's a half and then a half that I've added together to make one. So in this case, I go TT, okay? TT. Two sounds, one beat. Two sounds, one beat. So let's say it, ready to go? TT. I'm only tapping once because he's only worth one beat but I'm making two sounds. Do it again, ready, go, T, T. We should already know that stuff. Now, you should remember this guy from our pizza pie rhythms we did. He was the pepperoni. Remember we said that that's two lines going across the top that create this? 
We here on the TT, we have one line. Here we've got two. Now all four of these guys together make up one beat. You need four of these for one beat. So that's four sounds on one beat as we talked about when we did our pizza pie rhythms. So tika tika, tika tika. I'm only tapping once, but I'm making four sounds. Now if I take just one of these little tika tikas and cut them off, then I get this guy up here. Notice he's got two flags coming off of him and we just simply call him cook because he is just one fourth of this tall beat here, okay? So it's like we took this half beat and we cut him in half. So if you got a pizza and you cut that pizza into four pieces, that's basically what we're doing. We took our ta, which was our pizza, and we cut him in half to get the T, and then we cut it again to get the tika tika, okay? So that's basically what we're doing. So those are the rhythm patterns that you're going to see in our game. So are you ready to solve the mystery? Here we go. All right, so we're starting. Now, to whom it may concern, my name is Maxwell. I am a music detective investigating the discovery of a sunken pirate ship that may hold a treasure chest full of gold coins and jewels. Let me tell you my story. It started with a late night meeting. A man handed me a briefcase and quickly walked away with no explanation. Inside was a note with an ancient map with directions to a castle. First, I read the note. Arg! if you're reading this, that means the pirate ship Rhythmic Fortune has sunk. One arm if fortune can be your fortune, that is, if you know the rhythms. On our ship, we have an enormous treasure full of uh, gold and jewels. To protect this treasure, we've created a series of rhythm tests to ensure that only we and other fellow musicians could find the treasure chest. We suggest you start at the castle. Good luck, matey. Now, after I read the note, I examined the map. I seemed, ex ex seemed extremely simple, so I skipped along the path to find the castle. I followed the map and soon approached the castle. I spied a menacing green monster waiting for me in the moat. Then I noticed a sign. To get past the monster, grab the bag that has the cuh on it, the 16th note we call a cuh. Inside is a tasty treat that the monster will enjoy. So remember I told you a minute ago that when we break that note down, boom, 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 to one of its smallest links that it could be, okay? And that was the cuh, because he was part of the tika tika. And when we separate him off by himself, we just get cuh. All right, so which one is that? Tell me to stop when my mouse lands on the bag. Is it that one? That one? This one? That one? This one? It's that one! It's this one right here. So let's give our tasty treat to the green monster. I set the bag with the K or the 16th note and backed away. He sniffed the bag grabbed it, and dove deep into the water. <gasps> Yay, we just got rid of the monster. The drawbridge lowered. Poof. I walked across, opened the doors, and went inside. Ooh. In here was a room with a crown, a gold crown on the table. Let's click on the crown. Aye, matey. It seems you've gotten past our first trap. To get one step closer to finding the treasure, follow my directions exactly. Read each clue on the back of this page. It will tell you the name of the note. Find the picture of that note in the room. Once you find the picture, match that note to the number of beats it has. Collect a coin for each correct answer. You will not be allowed to leave the room until you've answered all six correctly. Oh. We're trapped in the room until we can get all of this. All right, so here we go. 
All right, the first clue, find the half note. That's the two. So I wanna hear you guys start shouting. Look at our screen. Start shouting at me through the screen. Where do you think it is? Where do you see the two? Come on, you guys, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Is it, is it by the picture? No, it's not by the picture. Okay, is it by the, is it by the chair? Well, there's two chairs. No, it can't be by the chair because that one's got a dot on it. So where is it? Where is it? It's by the bookcase. All right, let's see if you're right. Oh, okay. You are correct. Now we got to figure out how many beats does this note get? Two, because it's one sound on two beats. Okay, so I'm going to click on the two. Ah, we clicked on the two for a half note and a coin appeared. We picked it up and read clue number two. Okay, so clue number two wants us to find a whole note. That one's that's just a circle. It's not shaded in. It doesn't have any lines on it. It's just a circle. And we call it whole. So where is that note? Shout it out to me. Shout it out. Where is it? Where is it? Is it, is it, is it by the couch? Oh, it's close to the couch? Okay. So do you, do you see it anywhere? Um, I'm looking, I don't see it. Where is it? Is it, wait, wait, it's under the table. I think I heard someone just say it's under the table. <gasps> Good job. You found it. It was under the table. So, but uh, how many beats does the whole note get? Four. That's right. Because it's one sound that lasts for four long beats. So we clicked on four beats for a whole note and another coin appeared. We stacked it with our other coin and now it's time to read clue number three. Okay, so clue number three is find the dotted half note. Now, the big clue right there is the word dotted. That means whichever one has the dot on it, okay? Remember, that was the three, it was the one sound for three beats. Where is he located? Come on, you got to shout it out at me. Shout it out at me. It, it's you know, the chandelier. Are you sure? Oh, I don't think it's on the chandelier. All right. Oh, it is by a chair, but which chair? I don't know. Is it the chair over here by the... Um, I guess that's a closet, or is it the chair over here by the bookcase? What do you think? Bookcase, or, oh, it's the chair in front of the bookcase. Very good. And how many beats did I just tell you that guy was worth? That's right, he's worth three. So we're gonna click on the three. Another coin appeared. After stacking it with our other two, we read clue number four. Okay, now we've gotta look for the quarter note. That's also known as the tall. Where is the tall located, you guys? Help me out. All right, is it on top of the closet? No, no, no. Is it the one by the picture? No. Where is it? Come on, you gotta shout it out. I can't hear you. Where is it? Shout it out, shout it out. Is it, it's on that light fixture. It's, we call that a chandelier. Let's click it and see. You are absolutely correct. And how many beats is a tall? It is worth one beat. Very, very good. I clicked on one beat for the quarter note and a fourth coin appeared. We stacked it with the others and read clue five. So here we go. Okay, now we've got to look for the one that some people call an eighth note. This is also known as a T. Just a T by itself. It's not connected to anything. It's just T. So which one was the T, you guys? Which one was the T? All right, help me out. Shout it out. Shout it out. Is, is it over by the bookcase? No? Okay, is it on the picture? No, it's not on the picture. Where is it? It's on top of the closet? All right, let's see. Excellent, we found it. Now, tricky question here. How many beats is it worth? I'll give you a hint. It's worth less than one beat. What do you think? It's worth what, what? Half a beat? Let's see if you're right. Yeah, we clicked on the half a beat for the T and fifth coin appeared. We stacked it with the rest and we read our final clue. Here we go. All right, now we've got to click on the 16th note. So this is the one that's just the K, okay? And remember, we looked at that. We found that one earlier on that bag we had to give the monster. So where is he located? Come on, help me out. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Wait, I think I hear someone saying, is it on the table? No, okay, it's not on the table. Where, where, where? It's over by the picture. Okay, let me see if I see it. You're right, it was by the picture. Now, how many beats did we say the K is worth? He's, I'll give you a hint. He's worth even less than the last note we just looked at. 
Is it one third? Is it one fourth? Yeah, I think it's one fourth as well. So let's click on the one fourth. Oh, we clicked on the one fourth for it and the final cord coin appeared. Uh, we approached the painting of the Mona Lisa uh, and took the portrait off the wall. Now, we put the coins inside the slot and a key appeared. Cool. Let's click on the key and see what happens. Now, the key would only fit into that closet looking wardrobe lock. So we unlocked the door and we opened it. Here we go. Oh, inside the wardrobe was a duck. Y'all, we just walked through like a closet and found a dock with a sailboat waiting for us to board. Here we go. The captain took me as I was getting close to the treasure, told me as I was getting close to the treasure. All we had to do was apply what we just learned with some music math. With each question that we answered correctly, he would raise our sail a little bit higher. Now, now we got to add up all these that you see here to figure out how many beats these would be worth. And each time we get it right, you're going to see a sail up here and getting higher and higher and higher and higher on the mast of our sailing ship here. All right, so now let's look at this first one. If each one of these guys, we just talked about this a minute ago, is worth only one fourth of a beat, not even a full beat, not even a half a beat, one fourth of a beat. Now I add all four of them together, I get what? I get one B. Ah, I that be the right answer. Okay, so now see the sale coming up down here? Yeah. Okay, so now remember, these guys are each worth half a bead apiece. So it's like I took two pizzas and I cut each of my pizzas in half. So I got a half a piece and a half a piece. That makes how many? One. Now I got another half a piece and another half a piece. That makes how many? One, and if I do one plus one, I get two. You guys are geniuses. Oh, that'd be the right answer. Our sale's getting higher. Oh, now let's add this one up. Here we go. Now let's see. If I remember correctly from our discussion at the beginning, we said that all four of these little guys together make up one beat. So that's one. Now these two guys together make up one beat. So how many is that? It gives me two. And this guy is only worth how many? One, so that gives me three. And how many do you guys remember the three is worth? Three, so what's three plus three? Six, okay, let's check and see if six is our final answer. That be the right answer. You guys are so good at this music math, awesome. Okay, now let's add this one up. All right, so how many beats is the two worth? That's right, it's worth two beats. Okay, so that's two. Now, how many beats is that whole worth? If you said four, you are correct. So what's four plus two? Four plus two, that is six, very good. Now I've got two more, or another beat here. So what's this guy? It's a beat, and what's this guy? Another one beat. So now what is six plus two more? What's six plus two? Eight. All right, let's click on the eight and see if we're right. That be the right answer. So our sale is raising even higher. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. All right, we got to add this together. So remember we said that these four guys together, when there's two lines going across the top, is worth how many beats? One. Okay, and then this guy is worth one. So what's one plus one? Two, okay, so now we gotta add him to that. How many beats is this two worth? He's worth two, so what's two plus two? Four, now I got four beats. All right, now check this guy out here. We just talked about him a minute ago. Whole, how many beats is that whole worth? Four, so what's four plus four? Eight. All right, let's click eight. Ah, that's the right answer. So the captain just raised the sail. The flag signaled that we had answered everything correctly. 
The captain of the ship said, drop the anchor. A shipmate came to me with admiration in his eyes and scuba gear in his hands. You have completed the rhythm tasks and with a skill level that no one else has achieved. Directly below us lies the treasure. We will help you hoist it into our boat and deliver it wherever you want. Are you guys ready to get the treasure? I am too, here we go. All right, so there's the treasure chest. There's the, the ship that sunk. Let's click on the treasure chest, see what happens. Ah, you wouldn't believe it. All the gold and jewels I found when I opened the treasure chest. I searched online for instructions on how to report a discovered treasure. I called the authorities and found that there was a reward for finding the Rhythm Pirate's treasure. I received $1 million. Oh my gosh. Plus, the museum was able to display the treasure for all to see. So that is the story of how I found the Rhythm Pirates treasure. I can't wait to see mu what musical mystery I'll uh, can't wait to see what musical mystery I'll solve next. Thank you for going on this adventure with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. And don't forget, that's not the only adventure Maxwell has gone, gone on. So watch out for the next time we get to meet up with Maxwell for when we're going to find another musical mystery, okay? So now, don't forget that you guys need to make sure to go and click the uh, link for your quiz found in the description below this video if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're on Schoology, the quiz should be embedded into your folder for this week in Schoology. And if you came over here from my website, make sure you hop, skip, and jump back over there and you can click the link for the quiz that all three locations will take you to the same quiz. So make sure you click one of them, get your quiz done by putting your name in, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.